Under the upfront fair pricing model, it is important to shave as many miles as you can. Today we'll discuss how I personally go about shaving miles and how many miles I shave in a given week. All right, so some newer drivers might not know this, but up until a couple years ago, we drivers were paid for our actual time and actual distance on all rides. We had per mile and per minute rates. We weren't paid for the pickup distance, but once we picked the passenger up, we were paid for our actual mileage and actual time on trip. Now back in those days, I would try to drive efficiently. I wouldn't try to extend a trip longer than it should go, but there were times where I would take the highway instead of taking a shorter route to make the trip faster. And I would do this nine times out of 10 because I knew that I was getting paid a per mile and per minute rate. I was getting paid for that entire trip. And now under upfront fares, that is no longer the case. You see that upfront fare, you see what you're going to get paid upfront. And if your trip extends by a couple miles or a couple minutes, you're not paid for that extra mileage or time. But under upfront fares over the last two years to try and make them work in my favor a little bit better, I've tried to shave miles whenever I can. And my process for navigation, I'll use both driver apps. I'll use the Uber driver app and the Lyft driver app in tandem with Google Maps. And I'll look at the route overviews always. I don't use the turn by turn, I use the route overview. I want to see the entire route. I want to see if there's shortcuts I can take. And nine times out of 10, I will find a shortcut either via the Uber or Lyft driver apps or the Google Maps navigation. And I have found that a lot of times either the Uber driver app, the Lyft driver app or Google Maps will give me a longer route that doesn't make any sense. So then I'll refer to the other navigation to try to find that shorter route. Again, I personally like to use Google Maps as my third party navigation app. I've been using it for over a decade. I love it. I've always gone back to it. Some drivers might want to use Waze or Apple Maps. Either way, my recommendation is you should not be relying on one app for navigation. You should be always looking at multiple for every single trip. Now, as far as figuring out how many miles I shave in a given week, with Lyft, it's pretty simple. In their ride summary, they show estimated time and mileage and actual time and mileage, so you can actually crunch the numbers to see how much mileage you're shaving. With Uber in their trip summary, they only give you the on-trip duration and distance. If you did want to calculate on Uber, you could actually be taking screenshots of your upfront fares, but this could be a lot of work. I like that Lyft provides this estimated and actual. It's a lot more transparent than Uber. So Lyft provides this data. I was able to crunch my numbers on a given week. So let's take a look at those. I gave 37 rides for the week. The estimated mileage that Lyft was expecting me to drive was 402.94 miles. The actual mileage that I drove was 385.82 miles. I was able to shave 17.12 miles. In terms of shaving time, that's not as easy. I was estimated to drive about 828 minutes and I drove an actual 827 minutes. I shaved one minute. For some of those shorter rides where I'm shaving miles, that could add time to the trip, but also the main factor is wait times. If the passenger is gonna make me wait at the pickup location, there's really nothing I can do about that. I was able to reduce the estimated mileage on 35 of 37 trips, almost all of them. The most I shaved on one trip was 3.7 six nine miles it was estimated to be 17.42 miles and the actual mileage I drove was 13.73 miles but on average for the week I was able to shave a half a mile on every single trip so overall how much does this matter over the course of the year that would be nearly a thousand miles this is less wear and tear in my vehicle this also makes these trips more valuable if I'm reducing the mileage I'm getting paid more per mile on these trips and sure in terms of time I wasn't much more efficient but we can't control that as much as we can control the mileage we can choose the route in terms of time we can't choose how long a passenger is gonna make us wait so again I appreciate that Lyft provides these estimated and actual numbers it's much more transparent than uber uber only gives that on trip mileage mileage and time, but what about all of you? Are you taking steps to shave miles? How are you shaving miles? Have you done an analysis like this? Have you looked at your actual versus your estimated mileage on Lyft? Again, I personally am shaving anywhere from 10 to 20 miles in a given week, and that adds up over the course of the year. If you've yet to download the Solo app to help you manage your rideshare business and earn more, our referral link is in the description. We also have a free newsletter, and the link to sign up for that is in the description as well. If you've yet to watch my previous video on how I save $250 in gas on the year, be sure to check that one out. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.